Hey guys, it's Celeste from Lazy JX Ranch. Okay, so I wanted to do one more video of how I will be using my stargazer, um, at least for the end of, till the end of the year. Uh, so this is the stargazer that I got. I have it Frank planned. I have it Frank planned into my um, Frank planned planner. Well, Frank planned slash uh, transformer. <laughs> it's not a true transformer, but anyway, so this is my Franken plan or my uh, <laughs> stargazer planner, and it's a monthly layout. So after your monthly view, you just have four pages of daily lists. And I know in the past, um, people have really struggled with this layout. And honestly, it's in, it's in a very intimidating layout. Hold on. And it's the reason I haven't bought it before now. There was a few uh, planners I really, really liked, but they had this monthly layout and I said, no way. When they first came out with the Stargazer and we saw, you know, sneak peeks of like the covers and stuff. And it was like, oh yes, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. And, um, because this was my catch-all planner for 2019, so Stargazer is totally my jam. But then they announced that it was a monthly layout, and we were like, oh, are you kidding me? But, um, I got this planner on such a great sale, and, um, that it was literally the cost of what I would have paid for these discs right here, these metal discs. And so um, it was like, you know, for the disc alone, even if I don't end up using the planner, the disc alone make it worth it. And so I just went ahead and did it. Um, but anyways, so um, it was super easy to start this planner now because, you know, right here, there's no calendar. It just says October. It doesn't even say October 2020. You have the monthly view that would have to be redated, but actually, I just ended up sticking some double-sided tape right here because I'm not going to use the monthly view at all. So if you decided to re or to start this planner and you were going to use it as a catch-all planner or whatever, the only thing you really need to redate is the monthly view. But I just took some double-sided tape, just the cheap stuff here, and stuck a little piece right there and we're good. Because even on your monthly dashboard, there is no calendar. It just says October. It doesn't even say October 2020. It just says October. So it was super easy to use because I wasn't going to use the monthly view anyway. So this is how I am using this planner for this year. So right now, um, you have the three monthly trackers, habit trackers, which I'm going to use those exactly how they were intended. Here I have the monthly goals. It wasn't labeled or anything for this little section, so I just put priority. Um, and this, it just said check it off. I covered that up. And this, I'm going to use things I want to work on this month that are just for me. Like for my well-being, for my happiness, my wellness, that kind of stuff. Um, and right here, I have what am I reading this month? What am I watching? What am I listening to? This section, I plan on using it, you know, like write my intentions for each one of these sections. It says body wellness, spirituality, creativity, work projects, relationships, home finance, and community. Um, but I, I haven't had this planner for very long, so I haven't had a chance to sit down and do that. Um, this section um, is just dot grid, and it just says reflection on it. But I have a box, like things I want to work on to improve my relationship with my husband, which is already great, but there's always room for improvement. And this is things that I want to work on to help me grow a, a greater bond to my kids. And this is out of the encouragement sticker book, the new encouragement sticker book. It just says morning routine. And this is your evening routine right there. So this is how I decided I'm going to use the 
um, daily task or daily list um, for me. So these are going to be running to-do lists, but I broke them up into sections. So this whole section will be house and chores beyond like your regular everyday stuff like laundry, dishes, um, that kind of stuff. This is like, you know, the walls need to be cleaned or windows need, you know, I'm going through the house and I see something that needs to be done right there. So this is stuff that needs to be done outside, a running to-do list. So even if I don't get it done this month, when I go to set up next month, I can just go through and, okay, that one didn't get done, that one didn't get done, and it will just roll over. These are areas I want to declutter. And this is for projects I wanna do. And I do have a more extensive video of this, but it's like, I just figured this is just dedicated to this. So this is errands that I need to get done this month. This is stuff I need to do for my horses, like fixing fences. Uh, So-and-so needs to be, sh you know, needs new shoes. So-and-so needs their teeth floated. Um, vaccines, you know, that kind of stuff. Like um, different things that I want to work on with the horses. You know, I noticed that um, Mariah is scared of flags or something. Then I could write it on here and I, I know that I want to work on that. This is a running to buy list. So this isn't like your everyday groceries. This is like, okay, so the toaster broke. So I need to add it to this, you know, or the toaster's going out, I guess. Um, so I need to add it to this uh, to buy list. So this would be outside of the regular everyday stuff. And this section I'm going to use for like activities that I want to do with my kids. So as I'm scrolling through Pinterest or whatever, there's always good ideas and I can just write them on here. And same with to buy and the horses, errands. You know, if I'm going through Pinterest or Facebook or something, something catches my eyes. The way my brain works, because I'm very ADD, if I don't write it down, I'm gonna totally forget about it. So, and this I figured, you know, as I'm watching YouTube videos or whatever, um, if they have good ideas, I can just jot them down in here. Um, you know, different ways of doing things, different life hacks or whatever. I can just document them all right here. Like I said, if I don't find some way to document it, you know, get it out of my brain and onto paper, it's going to be forgotten in like five minutes anyway. So that's what I'm going to be using this for. Um, this I figured, this is the currently page this I figured I could like get out pictures um, of my kids or things that I'm grateful for and put them right here and just kind of jot down some thoughts about it so anyways that's how I plan on using that if you were going to use this as your catch-all planner you have a section for birthdays and important dates the only thing that's stated in this planner is a monthly view. So if I had appointments, like if I was using this as a catch-all planner and I didn't regularly have, like, this has to be done on this day, this has to be done on that day, um, like, that's how I have to organize my life. But if you were just one that it's like, okay, I just need to write a list, you know, that's great, you know, use for the monthly view if you were going to use just this planner. But if I had specific date things, like a dentist appointment, that's what I would put right here, if that makes sense. And then here I'd put birthdays and anniversaries. So um, anyways, that's kind of my thought on the monthly um, layout. When I showed my Dream Seeker, which is also a monthly layout, that I will not be touching until 2020. I'm going to stay strong. Um, <laughs> but when I showed my oldest daughter that one, she's like, you know, this would be perfect for me because, you know, really most of her life doesn't revolve around, you know, this has to be done on this day. This has to be done on that day. She's like, just to be able to get things out of my brain, write them on a list, check them off as I get them done, you know, is, is a perfect layout for her. And then the important dates, she can either document them or in the monthly view. But for me, that kind of thought process doesn't work. But I really, really loved the Dream Seeker Planner. And I was, like I said, they've come out with a few planners with that cover. 
and I missed them every time because I talked myself out of them because I didn't like the layouts. And this month I was like, screw that <laughs> because I wanted that bull head um, cover so bad. And then the whole planner is just me, 100% me. So anyways, I wasn't going to let it get away. Uh, anyway, so I had to figure out a way that I could get the monthly layout to work for me and my brain. And so I just wanted to share how I'm going to be doing that with you so that, you know, maybe it'll give you inspiration. Um, once 2020 starts up, this is how I'm going, this layout like I have here is how I'm going to set up my Dream Seeker Planner. But I really don't want this to go to waste. And so starting January, when I start my Dream Seeker, my Dream Seeker will be set up like this. And this will be set up um, for as a journal. It, it'll just be a journal. Um, basically, I'll be writing my daily affirmations here. So each there's a spot for each day. And I'll write my daily affirmations. So that's how I'm going to use this layout. And then... There is a lot of journaling prompts in this. It's very much a wellness-geared planner, but it's not a wellness planner. This is meant to be used every day. Um, but anyways, it does have a lot of wellness prompts, and so this will be my wellness journal. This will go with my... Um, stay wild planner which is a vertical layout and i'll be using this as a daily diary so in here will go my you know everyday life this is what happened the good the bad the ugly so that will go in my journaling section and then i did get the be well so this is very much like wellness prompts and stuff like that so you have intention, nourish, movement. So this would be tracking my exercise and take notes, which I won't be really exercising, but maybe if I go for a walk or if I work my horses or ride my horses, that's an exercise. And anybody who's ever trained horses or rode horses will testify to that. So that's how my um, wellness section will go for 2020. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed this and you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. Um, I do want to say a big, huge shout out to all my new subscribers. Um, I've been overwhelmed <laughs> with support this last couple of weeks and it I can't even begin to tell you how much it means to me and I really appreciate it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hopefully this helps some of you and we will see you on the next one. Bye.